So non farm period is about to start. This is where we are looking to enter the market and we will take our short position, put up limit order like this. Okay, and our target is this low here. Yeah. So let's see what happens when market came out and then you see a very sharp move up market triggers in in there and then remember this is our target here this low and let's see if price will get there yes we get there and that was all within a few minutes we are out of the market hello traders in this video i'm going to show you how to approach news trading okay a lot of people will tell you to sit aside okay step aside during the news and they enter when the news is done you don't have to because that is unnecessary fear they've created fear for you in order not to be profitable and if you have been trading the news okay and you are and you have been losing money it's probably because you do not understand what you should be looking for okay in this video i will show you three step strategy that will help you improve your strike rate your win rate when trading the news so this is what you should look for when trading the news especially non farm period and at the end of this video stay to the end because i will share with you the trade i took in the month of what may non farm payroll may and how it turned out to be so this is what you should do first number one you are going to identify your directional bias before the news so the first thing you need to do is to number one the first thing you need to do is directional bias okay the, determine where or the direction you determine the direction you want the market to go okay based on your structure based on recent structure okay determine your direction based on recent structure that's the first thing you need to do okay. number two you are going to identify identify on mitigated mitigated areas of supply and demand okay unmitigated areas of supply and demand pardon me there's nothing like un unmitigated but if you understand what i mean unmitigated areas of supply and demand okay then three you look forward to entry confirmation okay these are the three things you need to do before you engage the market during non-farm payroll and other news releases. Okay. Directional bias. You look for a recent change in structure or if it's a continuation. Identify POIs that led to that break of structure and unmitigated. Okay. Unmitigated meaning price hasn't gotten to the area then you wait during the news release during news release price will come into this area mitigate it then move in the other direction okay this is the simple the three simple steps you just need to follow identify bias okay identify on mitigated areas and then your entry confirmation now in most times what you do is when you go to the lower time frame you might not see instant um, shift in market structure at the point of um, at your point of interest because the candles will move so fast so you can enter at limit order but the key to this okay the key to this is proper proper risk management okay if you have been risking one percent if you have been risking one percent of a trade perhaps during that time you can risk 0 0.5 percent okay you can risk 0 0.5 percent and include just put your stop loss there so this is what you can control your risk 
Maybe because you are scared one reason or the other, yeah, we are all human beings. You can reduce your risk to the trade 0 0.5. You have been trading 0 0.5, you can cut your risk into half and trade 0 0.25. There's nothing wrong. You don't owe anybody anything. Okay, you don't owe anybody an explanation. Okay, so that is what you need to do. So let's look at how we can you know, achieve this. To trade this non farm payroll, I marked out my area of supply. Okay, because price already trading in there, price came, started trading there, rejected. Okay, price rejected from that area. And why this zone? Because it took out some kind of demand here. So when price came in, we can look at this on the hourly chart. This is 1.30, this is 1 o'clock rather. So we look at the um, our Forex factory calendar. We were expecting it at what, 1.30. Yeah, non-farm payroll, okay, and on employment rate. So when I saw that, I went to the one minute because that was where I took my entry. Okay, so from this one minute here, you can see that the time is 13:28. That is 128. 128 meaning a minute to what? Non farm payroll. And I've already highlighted my point of mitigation because I told you in my previous video on fundamental analysis, if you have not seen it, check it up here. Price came here. What the news we do is simply to take out liquidity news we take out all this liquidity here and then mitigate and ob or area of supply then from there we expect the move to move so now on that note i simply what set the limit order here okay the stop loss above here and you allow market to move and that was apple Okay, you can see very sharp. The next candle went up straight into this and then price moved the break down. There is no rocket science to this. You can do this every single time. Now, prior to now, we know we, the Euro USD was in a very short move. Okay, and uh, a lot of people are saying it is a result of, a lot of people are saying it's as a result of what risk on risk off, which I totally disagree because to me, you don't really need fundamental analysis. In order to catch moves in the market and this video will show you why what fundamental analysis does is simply to drive price and take liquidity into area what mitigation and then continues to play if you don't understand for the wood uh, what i just said the link will be in the description in the video i made on fundamental what analysis and why you should not really care about it so that out of the way where price broke down okay I started trading up into this area. This was an area where we took some sales. Okay, I won't talk about this. What I want to talk about in this video is simply the non farm payroll. So, price came down. Okay, now before it came down, this is a supply zone that took out all this. Uh, this is a demand zone that took out all the supply. Okay, and when price came back and then passed through it, price clearing this supply zone. Okay indicate that the market is willing to go what lower indicate that the market is willing to go lower so when i saw that um i simply mark out this zone expecting price to come back in here so that i can continue the the trend okay and bear in mind i know that non farm pay will be out by 130 my local time here in Nigeria. So, as you can see here from the um, from the forest factory, this is one thirty my local time on Friday, May six. Okay, so I was expecting the market to come into this. Okay, so this was my valid POI reasons because it has liquidity feeding this trend line liquidity feeding into it because a lot of people will be in this move early. A lot of people will be in this move early okay they will have been shorting the market from here because i know market will come up towards sweep this into this poi and when it came in here okay i didn't initiate itself though there are some form of what setup i will have shown you here but that is not what i'm talking about i want to share with you the trade i took as a result of non-farm payroll so that when you see the fundamental news coming out you don't have to be afraid the worst thing you need to do is just reduce your risk. If you have been risking maybe 1% per trade, 
maybe on that day you can just decide to raise 0 0.5 okay do not sit on the side some people will say sit on the side oh news is coming yes you don't need to sit on the side fundamental has nothing to do with your trading what strategy because if it does when you back test do you use economic calendar to back test no so that's what i want to prove to you right there right now so then from there i move to the one minute okay the one minute time frame i'm not going to use the replay features okay so you can see here now this is the liquidity i'm talking about we still have some fair value gap up here which price needs to come back when i notice that i simply set my what limit order here before non farm period you can see this is this red candle is what let me use the replay feature yeah let's go back sorry for that now let's let me use this replay feature can you see the time there 1329 below the time below here right well, below the mouse here that is 1329 okay let's place it there at 1329 the the market was somewhere here before the news before the news the news is at what 130 and this was what 13 was 29 okay and i've already set my limit because when i saw this it met my criteria i set my limit order here okay and my target will be this low okay and you put your short position so as you can see this was what i reached 3.5 pips here okay and then the, it was a 1 to 10 hour trade okay so let's see what happened okay we all know what happened but let's just play the price so as you can see you could have caught some move okay to this point here for a 14 hour trade okay or i simply got out of the trade at this low because i know where i was expecting price to get to okay and i don't want i do not want to involve in the um what is it called the consolidation nature of market immediately after a big sweep of what liquidity up and down okay so all you need to do you don't need to be afraid of news releases all you need to do is have a good trading plan and trade according to that plan because if fundamental was really important because fundamental analysis is simply for the long game it's for the long term you don't need it for your inter intraday trading okay it's too short of a time frame for fundamental to have any effective what impact and the news are simply drivers that will move to take out what liquidity into areas of that were not mitigated and it mitigates that area as you can see here price came in mitigates that area and then moves sharply away of it immediately why can't it take this eye technically it's still intact because that change they have created a form of a shift in order flow here there was a shift in order flow here okay we have a shift in order flow here okay so you may have saw this this was part of the reason why i decided to take this trade because there was a shift in order flow and when price returned to mitigate i already set the limit order because if most people will miss this trade because they want to wait for confirmation during news i don't wait for confirmation i'm aggressive because price will move aggressively it won't give you any room for confirmation maybe your confirmation will be after this low was taken then you enter from somewhere here Okay, you enter somewhere here and then you hold the trade. Maybe that is after the news release. You can come in here, but I want to catch the trade immediately. Within how many minutes I was off the market. Okay. I was off the market. Okay. So what am I saying in the nutshell? Fundamental should not make you afraid of engaging the market. Okay. The news should not make you afraid of engaging the market. Have a trading plan. Work with a trading plan. Because if it was actually affecting market when you back test do you use fundamental analysis <clears throat> when you back test you don't use it so why use it why before trading why trading 
all you need to do once you come to was reduce your risk you can reduce to 0 0.5 to 0 0.2 0 0.1 and start from there and observe if you lose 0 0.1 percent of your account it's a learning process let it teach you something maybe there's something you have done wrong because if the moment you are in the wrong side remember the most important thing is to be on the right side of the market if you're on the wrong side of the market maybe you're looking for buys the market will take you out okay be on the right side have your plan have your directional bias right then fundamentals will simply push you faster into profit okay now if you want to know why trading is not as difficult as you think i will see you in this video